with another update Cherish OS 3.9.5 another update has been released for Redmi 7 and Redmi Y3 and really thanks to Arduino for building this one and for his back to back updates now let's get it started from the settings and let me show you the version and the new changes so of course Android 12 L logo has been updated let me show you and of course this is vanilla build and I recommend you guys to use any light gaps so that you guys will get better performance so this is Android 12 L logo already included in that build and we have the maintainer name here and we have security update latest and google play system update 12 and kernel use since part plus i guess this is the latest one and you guys will get better performance and gaming experience because this is cherry OS which uh, always comes with um, high fps unlocked and google storage unlocked then we have the system as usual languages and input I'm using here a USB keyboard, system navigation, we have the customization to customize the navigation pill button like uh, you guys can make it short and long the pill length uh, which is great and full screen gesture if you don't like the navigation pill bar if you want to remove that one then just click to enable that feature and then we have back gesture animation, back gesture haptic if you don't need then just turn it off then we have advanced gesture option if you want to use you guys can do that long swipe action timeout and long left swipe and long long right whatever you need you guys can do then we have three finger screenshot and present one handed mode and other things double tap to check form everything is just fine I checked all these things and I just don't want to waste your time and here is the layer security and lock screen we have every possible every possible customization here face unlock fingerprint just awesome working and we have the app lock of course and we have also hidden application feature i will show you guys it later now we have that in security and lock screen then we have the utilities that means the accessibilities they actually change the name here on audio adjustment mono audio dual mono audio if you want to combine channels when playing audio if you need that then of course we have the sound and vibration as usual the regular customization every possible customizations are there and smart pause is available if you want to pause your music like uh, 30 seconds uh, or one minute two minutes or whatever you guys can customize it and then we have vibration and haptic feedbacks and other things ringtones of course and dial pad touch tones and always show icon when in vibrate mode touch vibration and pre-app volume control allow to set different volume levels for each particular application this is a really great feature per app volume control then we have the storage as usual and battery backup is really great no issues with that and no complaint of course and then we have the apps and display settings as usual you people already know about that reading mode and color calibration if you have the idea then you guys can uh, just customize it then we have other customization like uh, we have the smallest width and a screen timeout lock screen and other things uh, then of course we have the auto rotation and night light and if you want that wallpaper zoom effect here if you don't need that then just turn that off and double tap to wake and display cut out ambient display and display colors uh, which is great thing if you want to customize it you can do that then now let's talk about the customization hub which is called cherish settings we have huge customization like other custom rooms in that cherish os always a status bar as usual double tap to sleep traffic indicator everything is working i checked and date and clock show and 4g icon faulty and everything you guys can change that i have a huge kind of icon collections are available here and for wi icon style also available motorola icon and asus and emui whatever you need you guys can use so roaming indicator combine signal icons if you don't want that turn that off i don't like it so that's why and we have colored status icons and status bar items and battery icon you just click on battery icon to enable battery percentage and we have the use collection of battery style you guys can easily use which one you like it's just awesome it will be changed according to your choice of course 
when you select that one and I like that right side so that's why I'm using that one you can select according to your choice and quick settings as usual the quick panel transparency date and data battery estimates and other things mic and privacy indicator just like top right corner and brightness slider brightness slider position I already set it to the bottom then auto brightness icon and other things and themes of course a setting settings layout can be changed if you want to change your settings layout I already showed it on my previous videos so you can do that and use black theme whatever you need and if you need clear notification button then just enable that feature you guys can do that and other things monitor engine support of course as it is Android 12 so we have that and we have this kind of uh, font collection which is really great and we have MI Sans which I personally like so much it looks really great and we have the icon packs as usual you people already know about that and I just don't want to waste your time and Wi-Fi icon style whatever you need you guys can select according to your choice some uh, newly added features are there my icons are there actually and animations you guys can select animations flip rotate whatever you need just like that it will flip so and tiles animation and animation duration you guys can select any screen of animation like as before and we have here the miscellaneous charging animation you guys can enable that feature and some other things like allow application downgrade this feature will allow you to downgrade your application and we have the game space here latest game space and you guys will get some other features uh, just add the game and uh, just use your necessary features and unlock high quality streams and unlock high PS in games and phone storage everything is available here and I showed you guys everything uh, almost and this is it now let's talk about the smoothness you guys can easily use it on your daily life or not and this is really great this is not like AOSP keyboard uh, sorry not the keyboard this is dialer which is really great and this smoothness is just mind blowing just mind blowing and it's working like battery smooth and I'm using here the Gcam which I already did the review you guys can use that Gcam on your any uh, Android devices like uh, Oppo, Vivo whatever you have and Xiaomi devices of course and I already showed it on my view on that videos and that Gcam is working perfectly with the default config feature like pixel tone night cam and sky filters all are working so no problem with that if you want to use that gcam of course you guys can check the description then we have other things like this smoothness of course i talked about it and just battery smooth experience you guys will get in that room no complaint about control center of course control center also working perfectly without any issue not a single lag and stutter nothing it's just just awesome and we have the uh, settings and if you want to change the default icon pack on your uh, home screen then of course you guys can do that just click on plus icon and just go to play store and just uh, download which icon pack you like and use that's really great and some other customizations you guys will get like uh, you guys can customize the icon size font size and other things uh, like home screen layout double tap to sleep glance status bar top shadows and app drawer of course then we have the miscellaneous if you want to use taskbar i don't like it so that's why i'm not using and now let's talk about the hidden and protected application if you want to hide any application of course you guys will get that feature on your home settings so that's it and we have the uh, regular system wallpaper style and that's it themed icons if you want to use and the grid options other things are really cool I guess and now let me show you and you guys can uh, can be disappointed but this is not like that when the, my charge was uh, let me show you that when charge was uh, 56 or 52 maybe 56 percent I did that thing and the surroundings are not really good it's today is so much hot and in that temperature the CPU throttle to 77 percent and the charge was 56 percent so I think this is really great and if you check it again it will uh, be more than 88 percent I guess 
and of course the Geekbench score is also great, no complaint about that because all I checked when charge was very less less uh, less than 60 percent that's why 1088 and 269 single core score no complaint of course and if you check it again you will get better in multi-core of course so no complaint with anything and by default safety net will be passed no issues this is really a great great room and i just uh, want to make sure that if you want to use that on your daily life if you ask me then i can of course uh, i can suggest you to use that from so really thank you for watching.